Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Daniel and welcome to my channel where I teach beautiful people just like you how to do more things for and by yourself. Today we're gonna be making one gallon of strawberry wine. I made this strawberry wine with farm fresh strawberries. You can use any strawberries from the grocery store, from the farmer's market, or you can go ahead and use frozen strawberries as well. Strawberry is such a fun, sweet flavor to turn into a delicious wine, and so I'm so excited to go on this adventure with all of you. We're gonna be covering everything that you're gonna to need to make this wine, all of the tools and all of the ingredients, and then I'm gonna show you every step along the way to making this wine. Before we go ahead and start making this wine, I just wanna remind all of you beautiful people that if you get something out of this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you wanna learn how to do more things for for and by yourself with me, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If at any point you wanna be able to read the ingredients list or the method list, then go ahead and dive on down into the description below. So now without further ado, let's go ahead and start making some delicious succulent strawberry wine. The basic equipment that you should have on hand include a brewing bucket, an airlock for that brewing bucket, a graduated cylinder, and a hydrometer to measure specific gravity, a turkey baster, or what we sometimes call a wine thief, a siphon for whenever we have to transfer the wine from one container to another, a funnel to help pour things into the jug we'll be using, a mesh bag to put our fruit in, and last but not least, we'll be using Star Sand Sanitizer to sanitize all of our equipment before each step. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the general equipment that you'll be needing to get started. So now let's move on to our ingredients. This recipe is going to include three and a half pounds of strawberries, four cups of sugar, six pints of water, that is one gallon minus four cups of water, and then we're going to be adding one teaspoon of acid blend, one quarter teaspoon of tannin, a half a teaspoon of pectic enzyme, and another half a teaspoon of yeast energizer. Those are all of our ingredients, so let's get started making some wine. The very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cut and weigh out all of my strawberries. Once all of my strawberries are cut and weighed out, I'm gonna put them in a Ziploc bag so I can throw them right in the freezer. Freezing your berries allows the cell walls to explode, which means more flavor in your wine. The very next day when my berries are good and frozen, I go ahead and start making my mash. I take my strawberries and throw them in my mesh bag. I tie that up nice and secure. Then I throw that right in the bucket frozen, and then I add my dry ingredients. That's my wine additives, my four cups of sugar, and then I add my water. Make sure to dump out four cups of water. You only need six pints, which is one gallon minus four cups. And I add my water right to the mash, and I'm gonna let this sit for about a day for the berries to thaw out and for everything to dissolve. Once the mash is nice and dissolved and at room temperature, which should be the next day, I'm gonna give this a good stir and try to get some more juice out of those strawberries. And then I'm gonna be taking a specific gravity reading to see what my starting specific gravity is. You're looking for a range of about 1.086 to 1.096. That's just a ballpark, but that's a good place to start. Then we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of Premier Rouge wine yeast. And this is going to start fermentation with our must. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that lid on there. I'm gonna throw the airlock on here. And then I'm gonna let this sit in the bucket for about three to five days, stirring every day. After those three to five days, I'm going to take out my bag of strawberries from the bucket, making sure I get as much juice out of there as possible. I'm gonna siphon everything from the bucket into the glass carboy where it will finish fermentation. I'm also going to take a specific gravity reading just to make sure everything is moving along smoothly. Once it is done fermenting, typically in about two to three weeks, then I'm going to rack it over into another fresh container. Once everything is racked over into this container, I'm going to degas it by agitating it. I'm using this copper rod here in order to degas it. Then I'm adding a half a teaspoon of potassium sorbate, which will stop fermentation and allow me to back sweeten it using half of a cup of sugar. 
This is going to add some final sweetness to the wine, and then I'm going to let it sit in this container for as long as I please, allowing the flavors to mature and allowing the wine to age. At this point in time, it is done fermenting. The finished product exists, but the longer that it sits in this container, the more the flavors will really start to pop. <sighs> okay, everybody take a deep breath. I know I just went over over a month's worth of work in about three minutes. So let me break down everything that I just did. Let's start by saying that this is just about the finished product. This is my strawberry wine that is done fermenting. It is stabilized, meaning that even though I added more sugar, it cannot continue fermenting. And it is going to sit in this bottle where the sediment inside the solution is going to slowly trickle down. And as I notice things building up at the bottom, I'll rack it over. That's called clearing. And it's only going to continue sitting in these carboys until I believe that it is done clearing and done aging. And then I'm going to bottle it. But let's go over all of the steps one more time that got us to this place, this finished strawberry wine. So to reiterate, we take all of our ingredients, all of the dry ingredients, the sugar, the wine additives, the strawberries, the water, we throw them in a bucket with a lid and an airlock on, no yeast. We let that sit for about a day, letting all the juices really get into the solution, letting the strawberries and the sugar dissolve, and then the next day, we're going to add our yeast. That is when fermentation starts. About three to five days after adding our yeast, we're going to check on it. We're gonna make sure that we stir that bucket every day. But about three to five days later, we're then going to siphon the wine from the bucket into a glass carboy. Get rid of those whole strawberries. We don't need them anymore. Then, once it's in that glass carboy, that is where the rest of fermentation is going to occur. All of the yeast is gonna eat all of that sugar that's in there, and whenever you notice that no bubbles are coming out of here, and whenever you take a specific gravity reading and it reads 1.000 or less, then you know fermentation is done. That's when you're going to rack it over to another clean carboy. Then we're going to degas it by agitating it. I do that using a copper rod. And since fermentation is done, it's time to back sweeten. But first, we add our potassium sorbate so that the sugar that we add doesn't restart fermentation. So we stabilize it with potassium sorbate. We add half a cup of sugar. And that brings us to where we are now. We just have this stabilized, done fermenting wine. It's gonna sit on a shelf in a cold, dark place for some period of time, and you'll notice the solution get more and more clear till eventually we bottle it. Please, if you're thinking this procedure is far too complicated, I assure you that it's not. All of the ingredients, every single step is written down in the description below. So please feel free to use it pause the video, go over it, and try it for yourself because it really isn't that complicated. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you make one gallon of strawberry wine using some very basic ingredients. Strawberry wine is such a fun recipe to do because it has such a great acidity and sweetness to it. If you're just getting started out in winemaking or you just want to see some of the things that I used in this video, I have some of the ingredients and also some of the tools that I used down in the description below. It's always a great time making wine with all of you beautiful people. I hope that you have fun getting started with your strawberry wine. I can't wait to see what we're brewing next, but until then, happy brewing.